Hey everyone, Vince here. Today we're going to be checking out some money making apps to see if they're actually worth our time or not in 2024. I hope you enjoy. So the first application is called Carve, Data to Earn. And this is what it looks like when you first launch it up. Essentially, it's one of these play to earn type of applications that will give you cryptocurrency in return for playing various games. Now, these games are actually quite popular. Like you can see here, we have COD Mobile, PUBG Mobile, Free Fire, Mobile Legends, and League of Kingdoms. And in return for playing these games, we can earn Tether currency. But not only that, actually tapping into one of these gaming offers will reveal a whole bunch of tasks set out that you can complete on a daily or weekly basis. Each of these tasks has a massive prize pool of up to 200 Tether and 200,000 of the Soul token. I'd preferably only use it for Tether everyone instead of that Soul token, but that's just me personally. But for instance, if I'm to play COD Mobile for one single hour this week, I'll earn 10 cents worth of USDT and 100 of the soul tokens. Right now, my balance is 20 cents worth of tether and you need $1 minimum to withdraw. And I also have 103 of the soul tokens. Pretty much there are various gaming events that you can go through to earn various gaming tokens, which I find actually pretty interesting. Now, depending on which offer you complete, it's obviously going to make it worth your time or not. And for people that are more crypto savvy, this might be a really good application. But for people that don't really understand crypto, you'd probably want to stick to the US. SDT, aka tether based tasks. Carve actually allows you to generate free soul on a daily basis depending on how active you are on the platform and how many people you refer. My mining speed is currently five soul per day. Now they do have a website you can browse as well which supposedly can increase that rate but taking a look at the discover tab you're going to find even more giveaways and events happening where you can actually generate real currency. Now they do have an active discord group which I highly recommend you join if you want to get stuck into the application but for basic users like myself it's easy to understand as well. Last night I was taking a crack at the Mobile Legends offer and as you can see I was actually able to complete that. I simply had to play the game for one hour in a week but now if I'm able to play Mobile Legends for 10 hours in a week I'll be entered into the prize pool of 200,000 of the soul tokens and 200 tether aka USDT and that's going to be allocated in 22 hours. So realistically I can grind Mobile Legends out for 10 hours straight today to be entered into that but I probably won't do that at the moment. Either way if you're going to play the games anyway you might as well enter into these rewards right? I mean, it makes sense. Now, if you don't know, this is what Mobile Legends looks like, okay? It's a very simple game. I highly recommend if you're going to do Carve, you play this game. Let me show you some quick gameplay. It reminds me of League of Legends and Dota 2 a lot. Essentially, you pick a hero and you have to take on other heroes. So technically, right now, we're versing other players. And what I will say, everyone, if I started off that challenge to play for 10 hours, every single minute I spend playing Mobile Legends will count towards that task. So I have to try and be careful here because there's a lot of enemies trying to get me already. Let's see if I can snag a takedown straight away. I'm trying to be cheeky here, everyone. Oh, a lot of weak players coming at me. Looks like I'm taking on three players at once here. Might be able to chase that guy down at the back. No, he's running, of course. And I might be able to get him. Yes, done. You can see why clocking up hours in this game would be very simple. Now, you will need a crypto wallet such as MetaMask. I actually joined the Carve application up to my MetaMask wallet. And I highly recommend you guys do that as well. I'll show you that in a second. Because now that I'm playing this game, I have to follow it all the way through. What kind of gamer would I be if I just quit halfway through, everyone? I actually really enjoy Mobile Legends so far. I've never I've actually played it before before today so this app's actually introduced me to a brand new game and i just got another takedown as well so here's another enemy play i'm just gonna clean up my ultimate there we go this guy's done for he doesn't even realize it see you buddy <laughs> Love that. There's another enemy I got on the run here. You're in big trouble, pal. You should have ran away. And that's the end of him. So in theory, this type of application is a prize pool type of application, which means generally you don't have like a guaranteed set of income, okay? From what I can tell, the starting tasks will be the ones that will give you that, that 10 cents worth of tether. And then you're going to be entered into a prize pool amongst other players that are trying to do the same challenge as you. The more players you have in that task, the less amount of money you're probably going to receive. You probably want to go for ones that have the least amount of players with the biggest prize pool. I mean, that probably makes the most sense in my opinion. Yep, I reckon we got this here, everyone. And it's over. Got MVP. Let's see if anyone commends me. Yep, there we go. Just got commended by some players. Thank you very much. That just means they like my gameplay. All right, that's it for Mobile Legends. So look, I have no reason at all to doubt that Carve is a legitimate application. As I said, I personally use MetaMask for my wallet. So look, all in all, pretty cool idea. I don't think it's going to be for everyone. I can't fault it at the moment. Let's move on to the next app. I did just quickly want to say, everyone, if you enjoy what I do here on YouTube, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support keeps me coming back every single week, so thank you so much.
The next application is called Lucky Scratcher Play Earn. Now before even launching it up, you get an advertisement, which is a big red flag in my opinion. There is a daily login system from what I can tell. And once you're through with that, you then get access to the scratchies, everyone. And this is one of those systems where it gets very frustrating very fast. Let me just break down why, okay? Here you can see if I scratch and match three of the symbols, I can win $10 in this Adventure Time scratchy. Now to unlock it, you have to watch a full advertisement. And now this is gonna be the running gag throughout the whole application. This reminds me of one of those applications called Lucky Day. I'm fairly sure a lot of you guys might remember it was one of those scratchy apps that was very popular a long time ago and in my opinion these type of applications are gimmick applications or just pretty much waste of time ones because what happens is you start off earning quite a bit of the money, but then towards the end where you need to get to that cash out point, it gets more difficult in my opinion. Because you can see at the top of the screen, I have a dollar and 75 cents worth of currency, right? But tapping on it will reveal that you need $20 to cash out. Now you guys out there that have played money making applications, you know when you see high thresholds like that, it's always a red flag. Generally money making apps shouldn't have a $20 minimum by default. And when they have scratchies that are supposedly offering up $1,000 everyone, that's where I start to really get concerned. They do also have a gaming area as well with the same type of concept. Again, no tapping on anything will reveal an advertisement. Let's try this $1,000 one. I'm gonna tap unlock. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying because of advertisements that makes it a bad application. It's the way they're implemented that makes it bad in my opinion. After the advertisement's been watched, we now have access to the card. Let's see what we win here, everyone. Okay, I've got some in-game currency there. Now it's telling me I need to pass more game levels to get generous rewards. And there's another advertisement. You see what I mean, everyone? These type of ad spamming applications were a massive thing back in 2020. And to see that it's still going around to this day is pretty disappointing. With a $20 minimum, you really should not play this, in my opinion, at its current state. I can't see Lucky Scratcher, Play Earn being any sort of use to anyone out there. The next application is called Bitcoin Mine. And real crypto. Now, this is what it looks like when you first launch it up. And I remember reviewing this years ago, everyone. And it's funny to see how big it's grown. If you don't know, you run a little mine that will generate cryptocurrency tokens. Now, these tokens as such are just pretend and for fun. But at the top of the screen, you can see that you have Satoshi there. And I currently have 17. As well as the premium currency of nodes, which I have 98. The in-game currency of coins, which you need to actually play the application and expand your mind. And then you have GPUs, which will increase your earning speed depending on how many you have. Now, the way you get these GPUs is simply by expanding your mind and start over again for more GPUs in return. Now, these little cryptocurrency tokens will have abilities on top of them, whether it be exploding or increasing the earnings by the size. All in all, it's a very fun little application. They have a mission area as well, where they will give you free rewards. At the bottom of the screen, you can find a variety variety of different ways you can expand your mind or watch advertisements for various rewards. You can get little managers that will have special abilities that help your mind grow. There are different areas you can unlock to expand your mind. The one thing that people get wrong though is that they expect that you can earn big money fast on it. You see this little Shiba coin right now? It has a little Satoshi symbol on it. Tapping on that has just given me an extra Satoshi. And checking out the balance here, you can see that I have 18 Satoshi in total and it's linked to my Zebedee wallet everyone. I have a daily limit of 500 Satoshi per day that I can withdraw. If I tap on the redeem button right now, it now states that 18 Satoshis have been added to my Zebedee wallet. We can see straight away here, I have two different payments received. One for 52 Satoshis two days ago and one for 18 Satoshis one minute ago. So yes, everyone, it does actually have instant withdrawals, which is awesome. Those 18 Satoshis netted me a one cent USD profit. There are so many different features on Bitcoin Miner will take me way too long to go through each one of them. But the way you should look at it is a fun little game that will reward you with some minor Satoshi for your time. Generally, it's ran on advertisements from what I can see, but there are premium options as well. It has a chess system and it has the node premium currency, which you can use for in-game purchases. Realistically, you're looking at earning between 50 cents per day to a dollar, in my opinion, at least here in Australia. Generally, what you do is hold on to the Satoshi anyway that you earn and it just sits there while you generate more the more you play. Don't expect to get rich by any means, but Bitcoin Miner and Real Crypto is 100% legitimate and a fun little way to earn some free Satoshi. 
Last up, we have Kick Fishing Play and Earn. Now, I was asked by a fan to actually review this one because it's one of these premium cryptocurrency type of games. And as you can see, this is what it looks like when you first launch it up. The whole concept is that you have to go fishing to try and generate some money. You just have to avoid the hazards as well. And as you can see, there are crypto tokens along your journey there. It runs on an energy-based system, but the problem is, everyone, it has a hook system as well, right? As you can see, I have a basic looking hook right now. But to unlock hooks that will actually allow you to earn cryptocurrency, you're going to have to have the premium currency itself. So at the moment, I only have 10 of these gems in the top right corner of the screen, but to get the bronze hook, I need 49 of the gems, and that's going to allow me to earn Shiba Satoshi. You're going to notice that you have to actually spend real money. So in my opinion, kick fishing may be real, but it's not really user-friendly and beginner-friendly for people that don't want to spend real cash. Don't get me wrong, I understand the whole concept of having a hook system that will allow you to earn different amounts of currency, See, but everything's really reliant on you guys investing into the application first before it really is profitable. They even have a VIP system as well, everyone, that gives special treatment and privileges to those who invest the real cash into the app. If they just had more free ways, I think this could be a really fun app. And while you can upgrade your little character here to have more fishes that you can capture and more depth to reach, I just really can't see any use for it for anyone that doesn't want to invest into it. Because then you actually have to take a chance as well and hope they're not going to scam you. Usually apps will allow you to watch advertisements in return for the free currency, but I just can't see anything of the sort with kick fishing. So completely up to you if you want to use it, but without spending any money, I don't really see the point. So I'm skipping out on it personally. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Please be sure to check out my channel for almost a thousand money making reviews. I'll catch you all next time. Stay safe out there.